Hey, what's up? My name's Bobby Ridge. I am a life extensionist, and I wanted to dis- uh, discuss a list of wel- uh, ultra-wealthy individuals that are, you know, trying to defeat death, trying to defeat aging, trying to live forever, um, and yeah. So, um, you know, the last video I talked about a life extension company, um, I forgot that I was playing Pandora music, <laughs> and so uh, <clears throat> the music was pretty loud, and I could barely hear it, like you know, when I was doing the video. But I guess it was still really loud, so that's too bad. I might have to redo that movie, that video. But I discussed uh, the definition of a life, what the, oh, I think the definition of a life extension company should be. But so here's uh, a list of ultra wealthy people who um, you should definitely check out, and their research is very impressive so far, and you know. Just wait until there's this wave of wealthy people that learn about the life extension industry. That's going to be really nice. But, uh, so, my first and favorite is Martine Rothblatt. She's, like, the most impressive individual. Uh, she's the, pretty sure she's the CEO of United Therapeutics. Um, yeah, I'm pretty certain of that. I'm sure she's a founder also. Um, and they do some really great work over there, you know. Their, their main goal was to defeat a rare lung disease called pulmonary fibrosis. Um, you know, because her daughter has that disease, and so far, um, Martine has successfully treated her, but, uh, <clears throat> so, um, and so Dr. Rothblatt took the very bold step in, um, investing and developing, helping develop, you know, uh, <laughs> a lot of other great technologies, you know, like Bina 48, it's a robot that she wants to merge her consciousness with, um, help, she helped significantly help to de- develop an electric helicopter <clears throat> that can actually, uh, um, actually lift off now. And, um, I haven't looked into it too much, but I mean, the videos I've seen from it and what, from what I've heard about it, it sounds really impressive. And she's, uh, um, her, her company, United Therapeutics will provide xenotransplantation, which they're growing human organs inside pigs. And, um, she'll provide that in 2020s and 2030s. She said the, uh, her company will be providing 3D bioprinted organs and I'm sure she'll be providing tissues and, I mean, computerizing bio printers, uh, just, just bio printers, is, is, is just such an incredible um, research effort. She's doing so much more, uh, uh, Martin Rothblatt's the best. She has a net worth of like, you know, I don't know, what she got, what did I write down? Let's see if I can find it real quick. $320 million. She's a, the wealthiest woman um, executive in America. Okay, you got... Peter Nygaard, he's a multi-millionaire fashion titan. I think he has over $800 million. And uh, he's got Nygaard Biotech, where they're um, they're really focused on somatic cell nuclear transfer for some reason. Uh, I guess they find that really promising, which obviously it is. But, I mean, I, don't know, I, would, I would imagine that he's, he's, he's doing a lot more, too, privately, uh, I would imagine. He seems like a really passionate life extension. So I highly recommend everybody check out Peter Nygaard with Nygaard Biotech. <clears throat> then there's Jim Mellon. Jim Mellon is so impressive. Uh, British uh, billionaire, entrepreneur, philanthropist, investor. Um, net worth of around $1.3 billion. Um, I mean, dude, ever since I heard of him, he's been like sprinting towards life extension. You know, he wrote a book called Juvenescence. He has a company called Juvenescence. Uh, began an annual anti-aging conference, dude. The, the, the conference is sexy. Okay, definitely recommend everybody check out Jim Mellon. Support him. Okay, then you got Dmitry Itzkov, a Russian billionaire, a media mogul. Um, I, it was actually really difficult for me to find his net worth. and but So he's one of the first life extensionists. He's really impressive. He has a roadmap to life extension. First, he wants to, like, I think, what does he want to do? I think he wants to make a transport, transport our brains into an avatar first. And then make a cyber, and then, I think, then transfer consciousness into a, a cyber brain. And then, I gotta look at the list again. I don't know, if you just look at the 2045 initiative, you'll see his list, his roadmap, and it's very impressive. So that's very beautiful. Dimitri is cost the best, definitely support him. I can't wait to get my avatar, Dimitri. <sighs> then you got Mark Zuckerberg, bro, and his wife, Chan Zuckerberg. Man, that they are a team. Like, they, they are very impressive. You know, Mark is a super genius. His wife is obviously a genius. She's a doctor. And, uh, you know, for example, they're doing a bunch of things over at the BioHub, the Chan Zuckerberg BioHub, their company. One of the things they're doing, I mean, dude, first off, they're claiming, so, so they want to use all their shares at Facebook or whatever 
to and into curing all diseases is their claim. They want to cure and manage all diseases in their child's lifetime, which is a very beautiful claim. Very, 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 very beautiful claim. <laughs> Got to get eight berries. Okay, and so one of the things, one of the first things they're developing is a, um, a they call it the Cell Atlas Initiative, which uh, essentially they want to map out all the different two hundred, uh, all the different types of cells in our bodies, and you know I imagine they want to map all the trillions of cells, and hopefully they have a continuous stream of data of all the inner inner workings and outer workings of our cells. Okay, so they're very impressive. Facebook, you know, the Biohub, Chan Zuckerberg's Biohub, very impressive. Right, Facebook's involved with a lot of different research efforts, like AI, and um, I think I'm pretty sure they're doing some breaking point interface stuff. I'll, I'll have to check it out. Then you got Osman Kaibar of Samumed. I think that's how you pronounce it. Samumed, S A M U M E D, and they are focusing on manipulating the Wnt signaling pathway, W N T, Wnt signaling pathway. I guess this is a. I don't really know too much about this pathway. I guess it's a pathway that's well known in research and uh it's well known that people have <laughs> uh, very often failed trying to manipulate this pathway but Osman Kaibard is not the the um no ordinary person and he is uh is already got a bunch of phase three trials dude check out Osman Kaibard dude he's every time I, I listen to him talk he's just so impressive you got Brian Johnson um he ha- has a net worth of over 400 million dollars um and he sold Braintree for like 300 million and he's investing. I think last time I checked was like a hundred million into Kernel, and so that's really beautiful. I'll, I'll make sure I do like a. a I'm going to be researching each one of these um, ultra wealthy individuals individually, and I'll do a video on each one. And I'll probably I'll, so I'm writing an article right now for Thrivist.com. If you go to Thrivist, you'll be able to check out my article. You can see my last article I published, titled like um, "Will Jar Protectors Help Us Live to 150 Years Old" or something like that. And so this article is titled "List of Ultra Wealthy Publicly Trying to Defeat Old Death." So I only got a little bit more time left. I got to talk a little bit faster. Brian Johnson, a colonel, he's doing brain-computer interface technology. It's really great. Google opened up Calico around like 2012, I think. They they want to help with reversing and preventing aging. It's a very impressive team. Google obviously is like super impressive. Okay, Peter Thiel has been a long time investor. Larry Ellison has been a long time investor. Jeff Bezos has been a long time investor. They're all investing millions of dollars, millions upon millions of dollars into um, uh, reversing aging and preventing aging. And then uh, Masayoshi's son, I think, should be on the list. Uh, he, he had a really good opportunity to invest, you know, billions upon billions of dollars invested uh, that he got investment from the pr- Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. But then, like, we work that all like messed up. So that's too bad. And then, um, so yeah, those are like the main ultra wealthy, I think, that are really helping with life extension. And then some people on the lit, on the, uh, that, you know, have the potential to be on the list is uh, Peter Diamendez, Ray Kurzweil, Dr. Aubrey Gray, Dr. George Church, Dr. Craig Venter, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Dr. Anthony Atala, Dr. Luhan Yang, Dr. Laurel Deming, Dr. Sergey Young, Dr. David Sinclair, Dr. Bill Andrews, Dr. Eric Drexler, Dr. Max Moore, Dr. Peter Voss, Dr. Ben Gorsel, Naveen Jain. There should actually be a lot more people on this list. But um, these are all people who I think have the potential to become ultra wealthy and significantly help, uh, whether they're going to become wealthy or not, inside this race to defeat all death. I think they're going to play a significant role. I left out a lot of people, definitely left a lot of people, but that's what I got so far. Um, and check out my article on Thrivist. I'll be publishing that in the next couple of days. And I look forward to living with you forever. Mwah.